Has anyone ever stolen anything from your classroom? If so, I have a story today that might hit home. This person says, I have a story for you. I was teaching junior high. Items started disappearing from, from my classroom. I had a timer I used at the beginning of class for bell work. One day it disappeared. This person goes on to talk about how they had a particular girl in their class and she was kind of up to no good, picking on other kids, yada, yada, yada. I had a previous student one year that was hanging out with this girl and she came up to me and told me that the girl had taken it. I thanked her for the honesty. I wrote a referral. Before the referral was addressed, I caught said girl crawling on the floor behind my desk. She was attempting to get into my desk. The team leader, which was the principal in training, wanted to suspend her. Mom comes in and speaks with the actual principal. He was known for not supporting teachers. Mom said it was my fault because I left the timer out where her 13-year-old daughter could see it. Principal gave her a slap on the wrist with a couple of days of in-school detention. I told him he had given her permission to steal. He disagreed. I asked him, so if she goes into a store and merchandise is out where she can see it, it's okay for her to take it? Using mom's logic, of course. He raised his voice and said, no, I didn't say that. The girl's parents ended up taking her out of that school. I escaped from that school and had a wonderful principal. So yay for, you know, a happy ending. Uh, this is literal um, horse poop. <laughs> this story is awful. It doesn't make sense to me. Um, if something is stolen, it's hard to blame the person that it was stolen from, but this principal found a way. This principal found a way to do that. And she was 13. Like, let's look into getting this child some help instead of being like, you know, maybe don't leave your stuff out and she won't take it. You know, that's on you. Um, what a weird, what a weird take uh, from mom and the principal not doing enough to support the teacher. It really makes me sad to think about that child not receiving the help that she needs and to just be kind of like coddled and everything is, is not her fault and it's everyone else's fault. She's really gonna struggle in life and that's just ultimately really sad, so. Thank you to this person for sharing your story with me. If you have a story you would like for me to tell on my story time, the best way to get me that story is by sending me a message on any platform. And who knows, maybe your story will be featured next.